Hey guys, the update you've been waiting for is finally here. iOS 11.4.1, that's a joke. There's literally almost nothing different in this firmware. Uh, but in any case, I still wanted to update you on what's going on. There are a couple changes uh, that have only been listed in the final change log. So iOS 11.4.1 is here. What's new and everything you need to know. So first off, before updating, I had 51.43 on iOS 12. I kind of did a downgrade. I just wanted to see after I did get a gigabyte back. So that was kind of cool. So this is the official change log. Inside, Apple does list a couple of differences that we didn't know before. And the first one is it fixes an issue that prevented some users from viewing the last known location of their AirPods on Find My iPhone. So for whatever reason, some people weren't able to track these guys. And now with iOS 11.4.1, you are able to. Also in here, it improves the reliability of syncing mail, contacts, and notes with Exchange accounts. So that's something for other users. I personally do not use Exchange accounts, but if you were having any issues with those syncing that has now since been fixed on iOS 11.4.1. This is the 15th update to iOS 11 and could possibly be the last iOS 11 update we see. You know, we still do have a couple months until the release of iOS 12, so Apple might surprise us, but uh, this may very well be the last iOS 11 update. And uh, honestly, should you update? There's so little reason to update, but always it's good to be, of course, on the newest firmware. In any case, I did want to go ahead and see the performance of it. Um, honestly, I could not notice a single difference and you will likely not either. Maybe there are some under the cover fixes with the battery or whatnot. I don't know, but 11.4 uh, has been treating me very well. In any case, let's run this Geekbench. And I honestly feel kind of bad for the people that were on the beta program of 11.4.1. There was literally like no difference from day one to the last, aside from those bugs of course, that you were experiencing. So um, yeah, I prefer iOS 12. If you're gonna be on a beta, might as well be on a real beta. But okay, let's go ahead and see. Oh, and while this is running, I did wanna mention that if you ever want to jailbreak and you're on iOS 11.4, I would personally stay there. There's no guaranteed jailbreak coming out for 11.4, but uh, it is a better chance than on the newest one. You always wanna stay on the older firmware. So just in case you ever wanna have a very small chance of doing any of these very cool things, then yeah, I would stay on 11.4. There has been a confirmed jailbreak for it, but no release date or anything like that. It was just a proof of concept. So uh, yeah, always stay on the lowest firmware possible if you do want to jailbreak. Oh wow, and that's actually a reduction from iOS 12. So the multi-core score dropped about 200 points here and the single core is actually just the same. So performance wise, again, I have not noticed a single difference. It feels every single way the same as iOS 11.4. Now, whether or not you should update is very simple. Are you experiencing any of the problems that were listed in the official change log with the AirPods or the exchange servers? If you were, go ahead and update. If you weren't, I don't know, maybe let it do it overnight or something. For me, honestly, it doesn't matter because I'm on the iOS 11 jailbreak, so I don't need to update in any case. But uh, if you want the latest bug fixes and stability, maybe some under the cover stuff, do go ahead and update. And of course, always security fixes. All right, guys, so there it is, iOS 11.4.1, one of the most yawn-inducing updates in a very long time. And uh, maybe we might see one or two more iOS 11 updates, maybe not. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for iOS 12 beta updates. Peace.